is another video in the Newton's method series. Now in this video, I will show it to you how to find the roots of a function by using the Newton's method. But this time, I will show you one quick and easy way of solving with Casio FX115 ES plus calculator. Here is the example. Use Newton's method to determine an approximation to the solution to x cubed minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0 that lies in the interval. 2 to 3. Find the approximation to 5 decimal places. The iteration rule for the Newton's approximation is the following. x of n plus 1 equals 2. x of n minus f of x of n divided by f prime of x sub n. Now let's go through our problem. We let our function to be the following. f of x equals 2 x cubed minus 2x minus 5. From the general formula, we can see that we need the first derivative of the function. So we have f prime of x equals to 3x squared minus 2. Now, in this problem, we are not given a starting value, but we are given an interval in which the root exists. So we may as well use the midpoint of this interval as our starting value. So x sub 0 equals to 2.5. The problem asks to find the approximation to 5 decimal places. At this point, all we need to do is run through the Newton's method. We have our initial approximation, x sub 0 equal to 2.5. And now we go and solve the next approximation, x sub 1, by using the general formula. So we have x sub 1 equals to x sub 0 minus f of x sub 0 divided by f prime of x sub 0. So we have this expression and let's figure out what is f of x sub 0, what is f prime of x sub 0. Look what I will do now. Here I will write our function and then in the denominator I will write the derivative of the function. So we have x sub 1 equals to x sub 0 minus x sub 0 cubed minus 2x sub 0 minus 5 divided by 3x sub 0 squared minus 2. Now if you have watched my other videos where I run through the Newton's method solving it by hand, you have witnessed that after the first or second iteration there are numbers with quite a few decimal places and we have to admit there is a lot of room to make a mistake. And you will see in this exam example 2 where the problem asks for the solution to be up to five decimal places. So here the calculator comes in handy. I will show it to you now how to find the solution just in seconds, up to as much iterations are needed. What I'll do first now is I'll insert the formula in my calculator. Now I will use this alpha key here to access the x variable. So you use the, this red key to access each of the red options above each key. So we have x minus alpha x cubed minus 2x minus 5 divided by 3x squared minus 2. Now before going further, let me tell you a few words about Two super important keys on the Casio calculator, which I will which I will use most often now. It is the calc key. It allows you to enter an expression with variables, as I did, and then assign values to each variable. And then the calculator will automatically calculate the expression without having to store the values for the variable first. And the second key is the answer key. Within this calculator, a memory holds the result of a calculation after the equal, equals key was last pressed. So these are the two keys that are important for solving our example. So now I have my expression here on the calculator and I press the calc key. The calculator asks for the value of the x variable. We have this value, it is 2.5. So I insert 2.5 and now I press equal and here it is, my first approximation. You can press this key here to see it in decimals. 
So we have x1 equals to 2.164179104. We continue with the process to find the second approximation x sub 2. Now for x sub 2, now I will go step by step for you to see where everything comes from. But after you see my video, you will see that this writing is unnecessary. So for x sub 2, we have, by the principle of the Newton's method, we have x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1. Or x sub 2 equals to x sub 1 minus x sub 1 cubed minus 2x sub 1 minus 5 divided by 3x sub 1 squared minus 2. Now, now if I was doing this by hand, I would need to plug the x sub 1, x sub 1 value in each of the x sub 1s here. And you agree with me that there is a certainly a lot of room for, for a mistake. So what I will do, I will press this calc button again. And the calculator asks for the value of x. What do I have for x or x sub 1 now? I have this long number. And I can either manually type in the number in the calculator. Or I can just press this answer key here which is a memory of the last calculation. So the calculator has stored the value automatically. Now I just press the equal key and here it is, the second approximation. So we have x sub 2 equals to 2.09713535356. Now comes the question, when do we stop? How many times do we go through the process? And the answer is, one of the common stopping points in the process is when two successive approximations agree to a given number of decimal places. From the question, we see we need five decimal places. And we look at our two approximations, x sub 1 and x sub 2, and we see that we are not even close to our solution, so we keep going. We will solve now, solve now x sub 3. So for x sub 3, we have x sub 2 minus f of x sub 2 divided by f prime of x sub 2. Now the calculator has the last calculation of x sub 2. So I just press the calc button, I press the answer key, and I press equal. Here it is, the third approximation x sub 3 equals to 2.09455232. You see how easy it is. We compare, we have only two decimal places equal from the second and third approximation, so we keep going. x sub 4. Oops, I will change colors. So x sub 4, I'll press the calc key, I'll press the answer key, equal. Here it is, 2.09455-1482. We compare x sub 3 and x sub 4, and here it is. After four iterations of Newton's method, we found an estimate to the real solution to five decimal places. And it is 2.09455. So that's it for this video. This is a super easy way to solve the Newton's method with Casio FX 115PS+. Thanks for watching.